Welcome back everybody, it's Lance with Honeycutt's Brush. Today we're gonna be out here working on a cleared lot. They've got a lot of stumps and just all kinds of roots everywhere and they want me to mulch it, but I, I come over here and assessed it the other day and looking at it, it's all sorta of right on top. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take my root rake sort of angle it forward, push it across and sort of push all this stuff out. Um, if that don't work, I'll get the mulcher out, but there's a lot of rocks in here too. And that'll be, you know what, on a mulcher. So I'm gonna try to clean it up the best I can with what I got, get this thing knocked out and sort of final, not final grade it, but rough grade it good enough that they can start putting some seed down and get a good idea of what their yard's gonna look like once it's finished. But anyways, I'm sort of behind on time. I'm about an hour behind. I got a blowout on my tire here that I'm gonna have to assess later and get fixed. But that's just sort of the way it works. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy. I'm gonna put this thing uh, up so you can see it out front in the yard, somewhere probably over here. So you can see me sort of pull it away from the house and uh, then throw it on a time lapse after that. So you guys can just see me work. Anyways, appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks again. See you around. I'm gonna do I, I, the reason I did that in the first place was because it was just so unlevel I really didn't want to run my mulch over top of it and there's rocks all in this I'm good size ones now you get that anywhere 
and the best part about a when you're mulching is you get a little bit of a buffer with the chips before it hits the dirt so i've been trying to get every rock i can see every big rock i can see of course you'll know it when you hit it but the whole purpose was to get keep stuff like this because if it slings it i don't want to hit this house so everything i do is going to be pointed away from it and i'm going to try to get just a clean up just this area right here and then the spot where i've got my mulcher i'm gonna clean that up too because that's their front yard i want it to look good so that when these guys come in they, they get a good view of it but there's a lot of trash there's a lot of trash in it i don't know what this stuff is if it was for erosion or what but it's all all in this and just thick i mean it makes me not want to mulch but i'm just going to do the front yard and this side over here that's that's probably all i'll do mulch mulch wise the rest of this stuff i'll just dress it up i'm gonna unhook the grapple hook this other thing up probably move my truck next and get it turned around anyways before the owner gets here but that's what i'm gonna do so i'll uh i'll get back with you in a minute hope you enjoy Alright, so <laughs> it's gonna be real dusty. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put you up here up front right here. I'm gonna blow it all this way, away from the house completely. Try to get right here in the front yard at least so that uh everybody can know what's going on. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy them throw it on the timeline. darn dusty mess but it got what i wanted out there's still a couple of these left but honestly for what for what he's got i mean he, the guys are gonna come in and final grade it anyways the machine they got to chew right through that mulchard as always does good but what i'm gonna focus on now i've got to get the other side of that house finished but then i'm gonna tackle this which has been, I mean, it's just rough. And then I'm gonna get the backyard and just do that with the root rake because it's not near as bad as the front. But they wanted the front done looking good, so that's what I did. Damn near final grade. I mean, I just need, if I had the machine to final grade it, I would definitely do it for them. But uh, right now I just don't have it yet. That's, that's next on the list with a truck and a trailer too. But anyways, hope you guys are enjoying. I'm gonna, Put it on time lapse in the back, move my truck forward a little bit, and start working back here.
past that overall I think we did a pretty good job I'm pleased with it uh, once again I'd like to thank everybody for watching I know that it takes a lot out of your day to watch a 10 15 20 minute video but it's appreciated and I uh, hope you continue hopefully you enjoy these and continue to enjoy them I'm gonna keep making them as much as I can anyways uh, hope you guys had a great one I'm Lance with Honeycutt's Brush. See you in the next one.